What's up, my beautiful nieces, Divine Feminine, and Divine Masculine, my handsome nephews. Welcome back to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic ass clowns. Now, Divine Feminine, let's see what's the energy going on between the Divine Masculine and the Karmic Feminine. This could be his karmic ex, baby mama, side piece, somebody who he was fooling around with. Some of the, some of you, you may be aware of this person, and some of you may not be aware of it. But we're going to find out what, how currently is this masculine feeling about this karma. Okay. Please keep in mind that this reading may trigger you. It may or may not resonate with your energy. So only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest for somebody else. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let that shit go. All right. So right about now, he's very happy. He's ecstatic, blissful. He's happy about something. Okay, tell me more. <coughs> oh, miserable, unhappy, depressed, sad. Okay, so right off the top, I'm getting the feeling this is not this masculine's energy. This is going right back to the same energy I did a couple days ago with his karmic energy. She's happy. Because the masculine is sad. She's happy because she's blocking shit for him. She's happy because she's causing confusion. Because she really don't want this masculine. Okay. She really don't want him. She's just creating blockages. And he's he's miserable. Yeah. So let's see. Why is this karmic energy so happy? And I'm asking everybody to please hit that thumbs up button for me to support my channel and to help my channel grow. I appreciate you. And I want to say thank you to everyone who has been reaching out to me, everyone who has been sending donations, everyone who has been in the comments, um, all the likes, and, and welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you. And if you hear noise in the background, that is a little kitten on the floor causing havoc. It's actually my grandbaby's kitten, but I call her mine. I even put those little things up there. Thinking she was going to get up there, I took my stuff off, and she did. she went up there for a little bit, but now she too big. Yeah, I want a cat, and I can't have one until I get a, uh, a service animal uh, paper, whatever the documents so yeah so holy spirit okay the seven of swords is here in reverse she is she's trying to mm, reckless spending the four of pentacles in reverse defensive and paranoid overwhelmed see this karmic is is laughing she's so happy because she's fucking recklessly spending this masculine's money. Don't leave. She don't want him to leave. Damn. Tell me about this karmic. This is this is crazy. She's happy at the fact that she's making this masculine miserable. And you do have women out there that's doing that. And men. They don't want to be with people, with a certain person, but they'll use them up. They'll suck them dry. They'll steal their energy. And they, they, they be happy. These are karmic energies. People that do this is a karmic. Because if you're with somebody and you're unhappy and they can't tell you or you're not accepting the fact that they're unhappy with you, things ain't going the way you want them to go or they want it to go instead of you breaking up peacefully no these karmic people will try to hold you in a relationship hold you against your will they'll do magic on you they'll manipulate you instead of just letting go that's a karmic energy okay they get a kick out of out of making their person miserable these are demonic attachments that these type of people have yeah He's miserable. He's bored. She laughing. That's so fucked up. Damn. 
Why is this karmic energy laughing? Eight of Cups in reverse. Because she's she she does everything. They do everything. To keep your person, if this is your person, if this is resonating with you. They, they, I mean, they really get a kick out of this. From keeping somebody from walking away. Deceptively. <laughs> wow. They don't want them to walk away because this masculine or your this feminine, whoever your person is, is a money bag to this person. Yeah. That's all they want is the money. Four of cups. <laughs> all this, all this karmic feminine does or this masculine it's whoever this karmic is she could be a he or she okay take it where it resonates with your energy but this masculine is it's like she's he or she's just using it this person <laughs> this really pisses me off when i see these type of readings really It's like whoever this masculine is or whoever this feminine is, whoever this is, they're in a relationship or in some sort of entanglement with somebody who don't want them to walk away and they're they're un, they're dissatisfied. And the person who's doing it is happy and satisfied because they're recklessly spending somebody's money. And it's that's all that that makes this person happy. I feel like it's a queen of pentacles energy out here. In reverse. Recklessly spending his masculine's money. And, and, and he should be awakening to the fact that nothing is making nothing makes her happy but him giving her money. Masculine, if that's your energy and you're dealing with a female gold digger like this, let that wench go. Okay? No. Is she giving to you? If you're not in a relationship with somebody or if you're in a relationship with somebody and you're doing all the giving and they're doing the taking, that's not cool. Stop giving to them. Let them give to you. Take a break. Let them give to you. If you've been giving to somebody in a relationship, whether it's money, whether it's attention, whether it's you putting in the effort to be in a relationship, whether it's sex, whatever it is. If you're putting all the effort in and they're not doing it, then you cut that shit out. Okay? Cut that shit out. And see, this, this whoever this person is, this is a gold digger energy. Nothing makes this karmic mad happy except for him to keep dishing out money to her. Damn. Ugh. Ugh. I, I'm, 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 I'm getting the energy of that grunting, the grunting mad man. And this karmic, I feel she has some sort of hold on this masculine to make him give her money like this. And she think this shit is fucking funny. Oh my God. Oh, to keep him stuck. This is the fucking cold baby mama. Damn. Ugh, I hate her. And I don't know her, but she keeps showing up in this energy. I hate this fucking energy. It's a feminine energy out here who 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 really like gets a kick out of making this masculine unhappy. She likes that shit. Okay? She likes making him miserable. She has a demonic attachment. This is a demon. You know how the devil laughs when, when they fool you? Yeah. That's, that's what this is. This is a devil. Just trying to keep this masculine from moving forward. Don't want to break up with him. Yeah. Wow. 
I, I, I need to. And as I pick up this deck, it says uninvited debt and uninvited guests. Uninvited guests. And she's basically. This is a, a Rastusha. I'm not trying to be funny, but I got to say it. This for somebody is a fat bitch. <laughs> I'm picking up the energy of Restusha. And you know, Restusha. Bom, bom, bom. Restusha. Norbit. The crazy, obsessive, controlling, narcissistic ass. Big bitch wife. Confirmation, somebody. Yeah, commitment in reverse. See... This, who, whoever this karmic energy is, oh my God, she's, she's diabolical. Damn. She gets a kick out of spending this masculine's money recklessly. He could be paranoid because he may have bills that he need to pay and she got her hands out, always wanting some shit. And he try to offer her anything else. She don't want it. She just want money. Masculine, she may be wanting money. And maybe you be maybe dishing all of this money out to this heifer. And she out here giving your money to somebody else. Probably giving it to her homegirls. They need money. They borrow. Well, I see if I can get it from so-and-so. Girl, I need my hair done. You got your hair done. Why you can't get mine done? You know, this type of energy with a feminine around you, this Carmen. And when her friends need something, see, this masculine, he, he's, you know, he got money. I don't know how he get it, but he got money. I want to sit my coffee right here on the floor next to me. But my kitten will try to drink. And she has has stains on my floor from me sitting uh, punch down. And then here she go trying to drink it. So now I got to get a carpet cleaner to clean my carpet. I could spray some awesome and get it. But I don't have no air vac, wet dry vac to vacuum it up. But anyway, this... <laughs> this this karmic energy with the commitment card that just came out and it's red too she need to stop she actually gets a kick out of keeping this masculine from making a commitment to somebody else damn Trying to keep it, keep him stuck. She's codependent. She don't want him to move forward with nobody else. She don't want him to break up, or if they didn't broke up, she's saying they not breaking up. She don't accept the breakup. He can't focus. Damn. So this is a whole nother deck. Let's see. Tell me more about this this um, karmic and this. Master, what's going on with this karmic and this master? What's going on with this karmic? Look for investigation, explore, search. So she's maybe he didn't, maybe he didn't, she don't know where he at. She may be looking for him. She looks for him, searches for him. She she finds different ways exploring out here. She finds different ways to keep this masculine from moving forward with another feminine. Yeah. Damn, this is a karmic for real. That is 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 
I mean, she have to have a demonic attachment or she must be insecure. To go through all of this to make a masculine just be miserable. This is a devil. Mm. <laughs> I can't. I cannot, as they say, uh, I cannot make this shit up. Uh uh. Uh. Trash. This is fucking trash bag, Tracy. Damn. Trash bag Tracy looks, she goes and finds this masculine, seeks him out just to keep him miserable. He done already threw her ass in the trash. Then when they trash bag, this is somebody they, they done threw away. They done tossed her out. They done dumped her. So she, even though he didn't broke up with her, she looks for him to stop him from being around other people. Oh, she's diabolical. Oh. Mm. Tell me more. Mm, 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 mm. If if this is resonating with you, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Unfinished business. It's not over. Back and forth. Baggage. Yeah. She won't, she won't, it's like, like I said, it, with the Eight of Cups in reverse, this is somebody that every time this masculine try to walk away, she'll say something to where we can, we can try this again. I can, you know, um, we can make this work, that type of energy, calling him back. And then when he gets, she just gets back with him to make it, to work, to make it work, karmic energy. That means you have to give as much in the relationship as he does. To make it work, if he's giving you attention, you got to give him attention. To make it work, if he's helping you financially, you got to help him financially. It ain't no 60-40, 70-30. It ain't none of that. It's 50-50. And that's what a lot of people fail to realize. They want somebody to take them to an expensive restaurant, pay a high price, but next week, are you willing to give to take that person to a restaurant, that same expensive ass restaurant. I think I lost a few subscribers because I said the truth. God damn, the truth is the truth. If you, if you ladies, if you're expecting a man to take you to, wait a minute, let me, let me see, let me find a, 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 a very expensive restaurant. Hey Siri. Give me a name of a ex very expensive restaurant. You'll need to turn on location services for that. Want to turn it on just this once or while using Siri? I don't feel like turning my location on. I'll just ask Google. God, I deleted a couple apps trying to, I'm finna try to do some reaction videos. I forgot what I was searching. <laughs> Damn. I forgot what I was searching for. Y'all didn't know I had a stroke and um, I forget shit and I smoke weed. What was I searching for? It'll come back to me. That's a damn shame, Jackie. <laughs> oh shit, okay. Um Well basically this this karmic, I'm going back to the read. 
this masculine, he can't focus. He's, you know, he's burnt out. He's restless. She's keeping him from moving forward with somebody else. Yeah. She's searching for him. Wherever he goes, she, you know, something about a key. She may be looking for a key that was thrown in the trash. Somebody threw a key in the trash. Or she threw her key in the trash. Maybe now she got to go back and dig in that trash to find the key. Or somebody lost the key in the trash. The masculine could have had thrown, thrown the key in the trash right along with her. She could have gave him a key to his house, to her house. He could have been paying her bills or something. Tell me more. He, it's, it's like, she looks for this masculine, you know, when, when, when he didn't, him and her done broke up, would look for unfinished business, she's always coming back. And she don't apologize for what she do. Somebody's name may be Rose. Somebody's name may be Keith. Somebody's name may be Tracy. And if your name is Tracy and you're not the karmic energy, don't take it personal. That's some of the names that my collective gave me for karmics. And they all got to start with the first initial, first initial and the last initial got to be the same. That's how we came up with Wastebasket Wanda, Trash Bag Terry, Trash Bag Teresa, uh, Recycle Bin Regina, okay, Dumpster Dan. Um, I have a list of some of the names, but those are the main ones that I remember to say. Dumpster Diving Dan. Okay, somebody is, is silence out here. Somebody wants to keep a secret or somebody is keeping secret. Somebody could be secretly ascending. We have Rose out here, Key. Somebody may want to apologize. We also have, um, this could be a rose carries thorns. And those thorns are sticky. So somebody, you know, that's, that's this karmic energy. This is how she keeps the masculine from walking away. She, it's like she apologized to him, but it's a fake apology. She look for him. If he, if she don't hear from him, she go looking for him. Wow. Searching. Damn. This is, this is, this is crazy. Photograph. Something about some pictures. Something about November. Something could have happened in November. You could have broke up from this person in November, or you could have met this person in November, or got with this person in November. Um, he could have broke up with this karmic in November. Divine intervention out here. Karma. She going to get karma for this. What's the karma? Yeah, she's going to get karma for for all the stuff, how she's being diabolical and doing different things to keep this masculine from um, committing to somebody else or walking away from her. She's going to get karma for that. Yeah. And 
You see, she's doing this because this masculine, he stopped probably during the winter time, during season, um, holiday seasons, either this year coming up or last year. He could have stopped, you know, dealing with her. Could have in November, in the winter, November. Yeah. November is is not actually, you know, winter time, but it's winter is close. So this is this is somebody something happened close to the end of the year. Or this can mean for some of you something is gonna happen close to the end of the year. Or it could be going on during the end of the year that this karmic thinking this shit is funny. Keeping this masculine from committing to anybody else. She being she trying to be sneaky. That is so fucked up though. Damn. And she looked for him. Here it go again. I have to take some of the cards back to see where the original story is. She it's because of money. She may feel like he owe her, that he's obligated to her. Every time she see him, like she probably saying he owe her some money or we got some unfinished business. You said you was going to do this and you didn't do that. I don't care if we're not together. You still got to do what you said you was going to do. That type of energy. Yeah. This is a wicked baby mama. Yeah. She is wicked. Yeah. So how does Divine Masculine feel about his Divine Feminine? If he's with his Divine Feminine. How does this Masculine? It's not the right time. I'm overwhelmed with responsibilities. I don't have the time or energy for the relationship. See? Because he got this baby mama that's over overburdening him, overwhelming him, spending all of his money to where he ain't got no, enough money if he did want to take a divine feminine out to dinner. If he did want to go to the movies with a divine feminine or whatever he wanted to do with a divine feminine, he can't do it because he's, he's overburdened with the responsibilities of this karmic and she think that shit is funny. Damn. This energy resonated with me from the past. I, I know now it's just giving me clarification in my situation. So if it's giving you clarification in your situation, go ahead and, and put it in the comments. But this is this is resonating with me in the past. Yeah. Dealing with the uh, a man and, and his ex don't wanna don't want it to be over, and then they start throwing witchcraft at you and sending evil eye to you to me because they are still attached to this person. Wow. Mm. So tell me more, Holy Spirit. Showing out. I'm acting like I don't care about what's happened between us, but I do. I just want to appear unbothered. Something to say. There's something I really want to share with you. I'm waiting for the right time to tell you. So they they the something to say is they act like they don't care about you, what happened between you and them, but they really do. That's what they want to say for some of you. Okay. What else? When it comes to this karmic feminine, 
You're mysterious. I can never seem to figure you out. Sometimes I feel like you're hiding something from me. Never, never really know where I stand with you. So he, he's saying that to you, Divine Feminine. What does this masculine want to say to this, to Divine Feminine about this karmic energy? Let go of the past. Can we can we rewind time and go back to where we were both broken down by life? Our our past holds us back from the future. So basically, he he wants to to go back to. I guess when you met him, he wasn't, things wasn't good for him. Maybe this, this like I said, this karmic, she wanted him for money. So she wasn't basically, if he was broke, he wouldn't be having to deal with this karmic. Damn. That's kind of fucked up to where somebody can make you not want the blessings that you have. If you're you're abundantly blessed or you're wealthy, you can have people out there that will take it. But that's why a lot of people you think because they got money, you think they happy. More money, more problems. Nervous. You make me nervous even just thinking about about you. I get nervous. I'm not sure what to say or how to act around you. I can barely see the words on these cards. Yeah. He he has something to say and he's nervous to tell you that he act like he don't care, but he do. He can't act like he he care because when you when you care about somebody, you're you you spend time with them. He can't spend time with you because he got this COVID codependent baby mama always wanting him to do something for her. He can't take you out because he's always doing something for this baby mama. She's codependent. He may want to take you somewhere and now her car is something wrong with her car. He got to go get his baby mama car fixed. And she manipulates him and take care, take advantage of that because she got child with him. Well, how am I going to get, you know, Junior to, to school? We need some groceries. We ain't got no way to get to the store. We hungry over here. Mm. Tell me more. I'm sorry. I hate so much I've hurt you. I'm so sorry for all the pain I've caused you and you didn't deserve any of it. Yeah, he's he's sorry, but he ain't gonna tell you. He ain't gonna tell you that he missed you either. He nervous to say some shit like that because he know he got this codependent baby mama. Yep. try to ghost her. He can't ghost her. He go look at she. When he disappear, apparently she knows all of his spots and she goes in and and um searching all of the places that she know he hang at or his friend's house, his family house. Yeah. Damn. Tell me more about this baby mama. Mm. 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 She's she's like a charity case to him. Damn. And, and like I said, here the hermit is. In reverse. Every time she he try to get away from her, it's like he can't even get away to think about nothing. She overburdens him over, you know, she's over over everything. Overwhelming. Overbearing. Oh my God. 
She's oh my god overbearing. And she think the shit is funny. Damn. Tower. What is this tower? The tower is a sudden change. What's the sudden change? Six of Wands. That's somebody being publicly recognized. Um, progress. Making some sort of progress. What is the Six of Wands? Third party. Three of Cups. So, some of you, she's the third party. The baby mama is the third party. You got with this masculine or this masculine got with you, however y'all got together. And she's the third party, but she's trying to, you know, she's she's just overstepping her boundaries and she think it's funny. And he don't want to be seen in the public with her. He don't want to be publicly recognized as being with her. But it's like everywhere she, everywhere he try to go or try to hide, she shows up. Damn. <laughs> oh my God. Who's, who is dealing with this? Oh. The Ten of Cups out here. Yeah, he don't want to be seen in public with her. And, and he, she knows that he wants uh, a divine relationship. He wants a peaceful, balanced, you know, relationship with harmony. He wants commitment with somebody else. And she's... <laughs> he don't want to be... He don't want to be seen in public with her. He don't even want... He don't... With this, this Seven of Wands, the Six of Wands, and this Three of Cups, he don't even want people to... Think of her as being like an, uh, a third party to him. He don't want it to be recognized as a friendship, a partnership. Mm -mm. He could be doing a lot of partying and celebrating. Or this could be you, Divine Feminine. Death in reverse. She don't. She don't want it to end. She don't want it. Is 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 saying the same thing. I guess the Holy Spirit just gonna keep making me, you know, tell y'all about these energies because I use different decks and the same shit comes out. Just same shit a different day. Literally. Literally. I'm doing the readings on different days and it's still saying the same old shit. Damn. And I know y'all be like, I don't want to hear it. I'm not, I'm shit. I just ask what's going on between them and it tells me. And then when I do the readings about y'all, uh, about healing and all of that stuff, y'all won't click on that shit. You click more on the, the karmic readings. So. Yeah, she don't want to let it go, and she thinks the shit is funny. And I'm going to stop her right there. If this reading resonated with you, if it if I gave you any clarification in your situation, then go ahead, subscribe to my channel, and hit that thumbs up button. And I'll see you in the next reading. Peace.